Summerside Electric and Maritime Electric. Publicly owned, privately owned, let's unpack that. Summerside Electric is owned by the city. It generates most of its power from its wind and solar farm. The rest, it gets mostly from New Brunswick Power. To get the power to Summerside, the city has to pay Maritime Electric. Why? Because Maritime Electric owns the transmission lines. The city is not fond of that, as Maritime Electric substation near Summerside had a big problem, which cut back the city's access to the power it pays for. Overall frustration, when the, especially when the fault um, lies outside of, of our control, it's something that we don't have a ton of control over. There are four giant underwater cables that bring power from the mainland. The cables are bought and owned by the province, but operated by Maritime Electric. Most of the energy through those lines comes from NB Power and arrives at the Borden Carlton switching station. From there, Maritime Electric delivers power all over the island and it uses its transmission lines to get the electricity where it needs to go. And Maritime Electric says building up all that infrastructure is a top priority. So we're always looking at, at the, that equipment. We, we look at them on cycles of age, so they last a certain amount of time and we're always cycling through and replacing them as we go. So if you think about uh, some of the substations that we built in recent years, Marshfield Substation, Clyde River, all of these are in response to growing load. At the same time, we upgrade and rebuild our, our, our lines. So with heavier wire that can carry more voltage, more electricity to deliver right to your home. So we're, we're always doing that each and every year. Where Summerside fits in on all this is kind of like a little electric island all on its own. It has the means to fend for itself, but really it needs Maritime Electric's lines to keep the lights on. And that relationship has been rocky in the past. Summerside applied to Iraq more than 10 years ago to build its own lines to try and get access direct to the underwater cables. Maritime Electric intervened in that application. In the end, Iraq shot the plan down and said that Summerside did not make a strong enough case financially or that it would actually save taxpayers money in the long run. Maritime Electric says Summerside pays less for power than it does, and that comes with a risk. It's called non-firm or interruptible power. The city knows it's been in that position and that it's taking a chance, but the mayor says it's time to revisit all of this. For years we have advocated and pushed and suggested and um, for Summerside to have direct access to those public cables as a publicly owned utility. If we did, in this, we wouldn't be in this situation. We wouldn't be at the mercy of a fragile electrical system. We'd actually be um, contributing to its stability. It's become, once again, uh, front and center. From here, Maritime Electric has a roughly $430 million application in with Iraq to bulk up its own grid. And Summerside, well, it says it's gonna take another serious look at trying to access those underwater cables. Cody McKay, CBC News, Charlottetown.